Okay, this is an example of a guided reading session. The book we're looking at is Fair's Fair by Leon Garfield. Um, I've got a young lady here who's going to help me. Um, these are some of the things that you might do before actually taking part in a reading session. Okay, could you have a look at the front cover for me and tell me what you think the story might be about? Uh, about a wolf with a key to a house. What makes you say that? Because he has a key around his neck on his collar. Okay, so you, you think the key's got a relevance to the story? Yeah. Okay, can you tell me anything else that you think might happen? Nope. Okay, so if you'd like to open the book. Normally with a guided reading session, the child would read um, in their head, but obviously I'm one-to-one, -one, so I'll ask the young lady to read aloud for us. Jackson was thin, small and ugly, it's, and stank like a drain. He got his living by ru running errands, holding horses and doing a bit of scrubbing on the side. And when he had nothing better to do, he always sat on the same doorstep at the back of Paddy's Goose, which was the, at the worst end of the worst street in the worst part of the town. Why do you think the authors repeated worst there? Because it emphasises it. Emphasises what? It bad it is. Oh, okay, lovely, thank you. Please don't page one. He was called Jackson because his father might have been a sailor. Jack being a fond name for a sailor in the streets around Paddy's Goose, but nobody knew for sure. He had no mother either, so there was none of none who would have missed him if he'd fallen down a hole in the road. And nobody did miss him when he was he when he vanished one day and was never seen or heard of again. Okay, thank you. That word vanished, what does vanished mean? Disappeared. Do you mean like magic trick? A puff of smoke. Mm. Went missing. Okay, so he's gone missing in some way. What does it mean if he's got no father or no mother? Means he's an orphan. Possibly an orphan, okay, so he's alone, yeah? Mm hmm Okay. It happened when Christmas was coming on about a week before. Dreadful weather, as hard as as hard and bitter as a quarrel. Dreadful weather with snowflakes fighting in the wind and milk freezing in a pail. Freezing okay. in a pail. That last paragraph. What can you tell me about where Jackson is at that time? Out on the street. What makes you think he's out on the street? Because it tells us about the weather. Okay, it's telling us about the weather. What in particular is it telling us about the weather? It's really horrible. How do you mean horrible? Cold. Okay. What tells us it is really cold? It says it's snowflakes. Okay, so we know it's snowing. Is there anything else that would tell you, tell you it's really cold? Dreadful weather. Okay, the fact that they've said that the weather's dreadful. How did they, how has the author described dreadful weather? What? If you go back to that sentence that starts with dreadful weather, if you could reread that sentence, what's the author used? Oh, that one. Oh, dreadful. <coughs> <coughs> dreadful weather as hard as a bit of a, as a quarrel. It's a simile. Okay, you're right. It is a simile. Well done. Why do you think they've used a simile there? To create a picture. Okay. Excellent. Does create a visual. What sort of a visual does it create then? The simile is as hard and bitter as a quarrel. What's a quarrel? It's a top of bird. <laughs> um, not a type of bird. I think you're thinking of a different word. And hard, as hard and bitter as a quarrel. Have you got a brother or a sister? Yeah. Does your mum or dad often tell you off if you're quarrelling with them? Oh, it's fighting. Ah, fighting. Okay. <laughs> So it could be fighting physically, mm -hmm. but a quarrel tends to be something else. What else might you do if you're quarrelling with your brother or sister? Shouting, speaking. 
Okay, shouting, speaking. And why are you doing that? What are you doing when you're shouting and speaking at them? You're arguing. An argument. Excellent. A quarrel is an argument. Okay, and he's saying that the dreadful weather is as hard and bitter as a quarrel. Okay, thank you very much. You can go now. You can close the book. Okay, so that's just an example of some of the questions that you might ask from a guided reading session. Um, and obviously you would go on and you wouldn't go through a whole book in one session, but you might ask the child to um, participate in a task, something connected to the book or the story or with um, something literary wise. It doesn't always have to be writing, though. It could be developing a poster to talk about the book or a picture to try and show what the weather was like, just how hard and bitter it was. There'll be some examples on the website underneath of things that you could do um, in a, a, for the child to do on the task in a guided reading session.